You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. And today I have a newer face for Greater Brockton. I have A.J. Jimenez from American Student Assistance. Pleasure. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, you work for a great nonprofit organization. I sure American do. Student Assistance. The best ASA, in the ASA, <laughs> okay. And you have an office right here in Brockton. Yes, we sure do. Uh, tell us about the organization, mm -hmm. what kind of services you provide, mm -hmm. how you can help people, mm -hmm. and you'd be helping the students and mm -hmm. their families, because it's a partnership. If, if someone's helping you go to school, it's the entire you need family. mom, you need yeah. dad, or sometimes you get single parents, sometimes mm -hmm. you get grandparents that right. have raised grandchildren. Sometimes people are just on their own and they don't have support right. staff. But you're the support staff. Yes, we are the support staff there. <laughs> so tell us uh, a, a little bit about the organization yeah. and what services you offer. Great, thank you. So, um, you know, as Mark um, noted, uh, we are the, well, I am the American Student Assistant uh, Education Advisor. I'm lo we are located in Brockton, Massachusetts on 231 Main Street. Um, so we are a free service. We are a nonprofit and we are a federal TRIO program. So with our services, and I'll, I'll share that in a little bit, but there's no money associated coming from your own pockets. So you mm -hmm. save a lot of money of getting an education um, coming to our building and you know, receiving our services. So um, now I'm gonna talk about a little bit about our program. <clears throat> so as I mentioned, we're located in Brockton. Uh, a familiar site is the courthouse. And um, there can are you- two courthouses. There's, there's, there's the there's Superior there's, Court on Belmont Street right. and there's the District Court on on Main Street, mm -hmm. and next to that, you're in what was known as Barristers Hall. Okay. Barristers Hall is where all the lawyers used to have their offices. <laughs> the DA has some space in there, there's victim services, stuff like that. Right. But it's a whole bunch of different organizations and groups. It's okay. the corner of Maine and Belmont, right. for those of you, and the, the people that go way back even before me, it was a Sears back in the day. Okay. Oh, it was a Sears? It was a beautiful, it was a beautiful <laughs> old downtown department store back in that the day. That must have been way back in the day. Yeah, before I was born, but I love historical I stuff. do too. So yes. you mentioned TRIO. Yes. Let's talk about that for a minute, and sure. then we'll get into the services. Okay. I don't know what TRIO means, right. so tell me, tell yeah. them what TRIO is. Okay, so TRIO is a, it's a federal program, and what they do is they have a federal outreach and student services program designed to identify and provide services for individuals from disadvantaged backgrounds. So they include eight programs that target to serve and assist low-income individuals also first-generation college students, mm -hmm. and um, individuals with disabilities um, to progress through the academic pipeline from middle school all the way up through um, higher ed. Mm -hmm. And a fun fact is I was actually um, a recipient of um, the TRIO program. So I started oh, okay. um, with the TRIO program at Massasoit Community College underneath the director of Alvin Riley, who is now the Dean of Students. Oh, good guy. I love Alvin Riley. <laughs> he was my he's, mentor, not man. Well, everybody, he was a great guy. <laughs> everybody needs a mentor. Yes. And uh, I've heard great things and seen great things over mm -hmm. there during the year mm -hmm. over at Massasoit. Mm -hmm. um, I was just today at an award ceremony, and our athletic director won an award <laughs> for, for the Brock and Rotary Club. Awesome. But people are there to help. So you, mm -hmm. you picked up the service background, the service mentality mm -hmm. from... Massasoit, yeah. and, and from what we talked about before, mm -hmm. uh, you go in for social worker training, so this yes. is just kind of an extension of that. This is an extension of that, for okay. sure. Okay, so you gave us some of the basics. So what yes. are the actual services mm -hmm. that you, you provide at, at the place? I, I, I've seen, on, you get a whole list, you get a, a top <laughs> nine list, so you yeah, want to write it down nine. with me? Sure. All right, so uh, the first of which is being the academic advice. So we give academic advice advisement and counseling. Mm -hmm. And so, for example, say if you came in and said, hey, um, I would like to go to school, but I have no idea what I want to study. Mm -hmm. So the education advisor is there to assist you through that entire process. We really help you and guide you, you know, and, and tell you what programs are out there, what colleges have your program, and we really want to have a conversation with you about what your interests are in your academic pursuit. Second, financial aid. <laughs> Yeah, the big one. <laughs> the big one. So we actually help you on a one-on-one -on -one setting complete the financial aid thoroughly and completely. So you come in and, uh, you know, if you're going to school, it's mandatory that you, you know, fill out the FAFSA. And so we switched to the um, online version of it. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, it used to be the paper form. And today, a lot of people, you know, struggle with internet and things like that. So if they come in, an education advisor will sit you down and guide you the entire way to make sure it's accurate. The third thing we do, we help with scholarship searches. And it's really important because today, 
Um, if you receive an education, if you're receiving a um, higher education, it's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So we help you with scholarship search, with scholarship searches. Excuse me. Um, we don't specifically give you money, but we help you identify what scholarships are out there, and we let you know the deadlines. And trust me, I wish I could do the work for you, but you got to do the work on your point own. Point them in the right direction. We point them in the right direction. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we also help with completing applications of whatever it may be. We also do mentoring. My favorite piece is the mentoring piece. As I told you before, um, I went to Massasoit for social work, and I love helping people, especially the younger generation. And so we, um, in our center, um, we do that as well. Um, the next thing we do, which is very important, is coordination with services. So for example, say if um, someone who is struggling with homelessness came in to receive our services, we will do a referral to like a Father Bills or other services that are out there um, because we really um, coordinate with other providers to really help the community um, in Brockton and the entire South Shore. We are also the advocate between the students and the higher ed institution. Um, so what that basically means is that um, we will make sure that you know, they're doing well in school, is that they're taking the right classes, and basically just helping them the entire way. Um, we also provide financial literacy. <laughs> Trust me, I need more training on budgeting. <laughs> mm -hmm. My mother always told me I have a heavy dollar to be spent. <laughs> there you go, there you go. <laughs> so um, we help with budget management, um, credit scores, and student loan counseling. And a lot of people who are going to higher, edu um, you know, higher education institutions, you know, they're most likely taking out a student loan, so we help you with the um, counseling piece of it. And lastly, anything and everything that involves college access. Well, that's quite the list. <laughs> I got the I got the the high sign, so we're just about done. But okay. we're gonna we're gonna check in on you, follow up. Sure. Um, we might maybe we can make it over to the open house. If sure. not, mm -hmm. we'll get you back on TV and we can talk more. Great. One thing I would just like to say is um, we are open Monday through Friday from eight thirty in the morning to five p.m. And the service area that um, the people that we serve is the entire South Shore region. Okay. So, so thank uh, you very much. Web website. That's the only thing I didn't ask you. ASA.org. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Pleasure. Pleasure. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.